Hey guys, this is App Reviewer. Today we'll be taking a quick look at the new Aegis series from Trident. This is for the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, and this is a two-piece style case. So it features a soft silicone inner layer with a hard polycarbonate spine on the back. So before we take a look at the case, I just want to show you what comes within the packaging. So let's pop off the spine. And you can see within this goodie pack, you get a couple things, which is good. First of all, you get a screen protector. So this is a crystal clear screen protector goes on your device and then it has two tabs so it's pretty easy to install you also get some installation instructions which are not really necessary for this kind of case you get a microfiber wipe to clean the screen off and then finally you get a squeegee to help you install that screen protector so not bad at all now as you can see we got the two pieces right here first we got the silicone layer which is a soft silicone layer I'm actually impressed this does not pick up much lint whatsoever it might just be the color blue but I've had no issues with lint on it it's very grippy, has sort of a matte coating on it, but it's still just cheap flimsy silicone, so nothing special to do with it. Now, it actually has these reinforced corners right here, so this will provide some pretty good drop, drop protection on the sides and on the bottom. Now here we've got the plastic spine. This does not have a matte coating whatsoever. It's actually it's textured slightly, but it's not matte, so it won't provide much grip, but what it does is it has a lot of scratch protection, drop protection, also rigidity, so it's, it turns this cheap flimsy silicone into a very, very monstrous and rigid case, which is awesome. So what I'm going to do now is pop this on my phone. I do want to mention that I do have the 2000 milliamp hour extended battery on here, and it works just fine with the extended and the stock. I can even see this working with the Verizon LTE model, so it does have a little bit of wiggle room in there, so you shouldn't have any issues with it. Now you pop on the silicone bit first and then you start off through the top with the plastic and you want to work your way under those buttons which can be a little bit difficult at times but once you got it done it fits like a glove so because the silicone stretches out a bit you just gotta massage it into place and make sure it's all just in place so that seems pretty good now. It's not the easiest of installations but once you get it on right you can see this feels just like a brick. It's pretty thick as you can see but it feels awesome so you can hit your phone, you can drop it, you can do whatever you want to it because it feels awesome in this case. Now, like I said, you've got these reinforced corners on the sides. Great drop protection right here, right here and also on the bottom. The actual silicone, like I said, will be mostly for drop protection whereas the plastic will be for scratch protection and just keeping this case rigid. Now, on the back you can see the cutout for the 5 megapixel camera. It's deeply recessed in there so you'll have no issues with it. And I've also got a minor annoyance with the actual silicone right here. As you can see, I placed the case in perfectly, but there's still a little bit of a gap right there. And it's just a minor annoyance because it doesn't affect the actual usage on the case. Right up here, you got the cutout for the secondary microphone. Once again, it's very deeply recessed in there, but i got no issues with muffling. Works just fine. As we work our way down, you can see the Trident logo right there. Another logo right here. And then the speaker grill cutout, which is ample and nice. No issues with that. Now towards the bottom you can see two separate cutouts. One has the actual flap for the micro USB charger. I'm a big fan of this just because it keeps any dust out of there and it fits in there really nicely and it's also flush. And then you got one contour shaped cutout for the 3.5mm headphone jack and also the main microphone. The actual headphone jack is very recessed in there so some of my headphones didn't fit which is a minor annoyance I got as well. On the left hand side you have the volume up and down buttons. These are some of the best buttons I felt because the silicone is super super easy to press. It's just very responsive and very clicky as you can hear. Same thing goes for the power button. Very easy to press. You get a nice tactile feel from it so they've done a great job with these buttons. And then finally as you can see through the back this comes up to this nice rim over here which covers a little bit of the screen on it so once you apply your screen protector plus this rubber rim you got some pretty good protection on the screen now if you place the screen side down this will lift it up off the table so no issues on that part so if you're someone that looks for great protection in the case you definitely can go wrong with this one and the reason I say that is because of the hybrid design now the phone itself is covered completely with the silicone and the plastic the plastic itself gives it good rigidity and a form-fitting design whereas the silicone adds the most protection in terms of drop and scratch protection now like you see up here you have these reinforced corners on the top and also the bottom and the reason those are good is because when you drop at any angle those will absorb most of the shock now the actual scratch protection comes in the form of the back sides top and bottom and the included screen protector so as you can see no part of your device is left exposed other than the camera 
and also the bottom headphone jack, which is great. So you got all around coverage. Now, this does come at a price, however, because you get a lot of thickness on this case. It is pretty bulky and also pretty heavy, so you can definitely feel it when it's in your hand and your pocket. Now, that doesn't mean it's a terrible case, but it's not meant for people that want a lightweight and thin case. So, one of my minor noises, like I mentioned, is the fact that the silicone right up here does not tend to fit perfectly and also the recessed headphone jack at the bottom. So if you're someone that wants a minimalistic case, this is definitely not for you because it's chunky, it's bulky, but at the same time it adds a lot of protection. So if you're someone that bumps into stuff a lot or also drops your phone, you might want to check this case out because it's definitely great at what it's meant to do. So anyways, you can check out these guys over at tridentcase.com. Thank you to Enzo for sending out the case for reviewing purposes. It retails for $29.95 and you can pick it up in blue and black that we have right here and also blue and green. So anyways guys, thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned for more. Cheers.